guys happy wednesday and well done on your slow writes yesterday they were pretty incredible and i'm really really proud of all of you so well done on creating so many amazing sentence types Today we are going to start planning our story, which we will then start writing next week when we are in school. So um, we are going to stop thinking about the place we want to go to after our um, jungle setting. So um, I'm going to we're going to create our new adventure um, using this picture. So I'm going to show you how to create the plan using this river setting. And then in a second, you are going to think about the setting that you want your um, next part of your adventure to be in. So using this picture, um, we are going to create the, the plan. The plan looks like this. So we've got uh, seven parts. There are, they all need completing. Some of them have a bit more information than others. Some ask for a specific sentence type because um, we're still looking at our add same add sentence. That's a sentence type for this um, topic. Um, so we're going to go and have a look at doing this all together now. Okay, so this is the plan that we are going to use today. Um, there are seven sections of the plan. We are only going to focus on one, two and three today. Um, and then tomorrow you will look at four, five, six and seven. You, we're all going to look at this one, which has got the river setting from the taking flight video in the centre. But when you come to do your own, you will have another picture in there, depending on the setting that you choose later on in the lesson. Um, so um, we're going to look at the river. And as I say, we're going to do one, two and three. So we're going to think of where the river is, a W question, and then also the setting description. So this is a nice um, big section here for us to write as much information as we would like. So you're going to think about your senses. So what you see, hear, smell, touch and taste. And also we're asking you for a personification sentence. <clears throat> you thought of some amazing personification sentences yesterday. So I know that you are more than capable to create one for your setting as well. So for the where box, we are going to add a little bit more description than just saying we are in a desert. I'm going to say uh, the Amazon River running through the Brazilian rainforest. OK, <clears throat> you might, if you choose volcanoes or ocean or whatever, you might choose a certain part of the country, uh, of the world, but you also might make somewhere up. That's absolutely fine. Um, so for my W question, I'm going to say, where does the river take us? However, looking at that may be a little bit boring. So I'm going to use an adjective to describe the river. The adjective I'm going to choose is meandering. And meandering means when it is going through lots of these bends in the river, it's not just one straight line. So meandering, where does the meandering river take us? So I've got my W word at the front to make a W question. Okay, <clears throat> number three is where we've, we're going to have lots and lots of information and lots of uh, vocabulary choices and, um, you know, maybe some phrases in there as well. So um, let's think about what we see here, smell, touch and taste first. So I'm going to start describing the river. Um, <clears throat> you don't need to put these in full sentences. This is your plan. It is just for notes and jottings. So I'm going to say cascading water. Uh, I'm going to use the word surging, so surging forwards. I'm, I'm just putting phrases and words in here that when I come to write my story from this plan, I can say, OK, I'm going to use surging forwards and then, then I'll put it into a sentence. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to also say, so I can kind of, that can be what I can hear or also see. Um, I'm going to think about the touch sense. So I'm going to put a bit of a sentence here. So refreshing uh, drops of water. I'm actually going to change that to water droplets hitting my face. Obviously, at the moment, it doesn't make sense as a complete sentence, but I only need to add a little bit of that uh, to that to make a complete sentence for my story. Um, and then I'm going to think about the smell. 
when it is very, very warm, especially in a rainforest or a jungle setting, um, it can smell really humid and it's kind of damp. There's a lot of like earthy smells. So I'm going to say the, um, the humidity in the air. If you want to um, split it so that you have a see, hear, smell, touch and taste column, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you uh, do that, you might need a little bit more room than what's on this plan. So just do it on the back um, and then you can um, really tell each section apart. Um, I'm also going to start describing a little bit more of what I can see. So um, the luscious green rainforest um, the jagged rocks um, peeking out of the water oh without knowing it I have created a personification sentence there they're peeking out of the water it's a human quality um, the crystal clear water um, oh I'm going to add a little bit more to that sparkling in the sunlight um i'm also going to describe these mountains that are on the riverbanks so skyscraping mountains um line the riverbanks um I might say something about a uh, tree branch reaching across the water. So I've got see, I've got hear, I've got smell and touch, I haven't got taste. So <clears throat> we could have um, taste the... Um, Taste is quite a hard one, actually. So maybe we could have taste the crispness of the water droplets. So linking that to when they hit his face. Um, okay, so I've got lots and lots of description in there. I've got what I can see, hear, smell, touch and taste. I could carry on going, in all fairness. Um, there is a lot more that I could add into that. So if you need more space, as I say, go on to the back. Um, I've got quite a lot of phrases in there. Haven't got many adjectives or verbs or adverbs on their own. So I might go back and do that after. Um, but I'm just going to put in my personification sentence because I don't want to forget that. I have got a couple in there already, but I've got one that I have created just for the personification purpose. So I'm going to say imposing mountains peering over the canopy of trees okay um what i might now go and do is i might go and add a few more um just single adjectives single verbs so towering soaring um for the mountains on the um riverbank um we could have turquoise for the for the water um we could also have uh rushing the, the the water's rushing through um we could have vibrant vibrant uh greenery as well for what's around us okay so i've got a lot of information in there what you put in there could be endless because you are really thinking about this is your this is your section where you are adding all of the description that you can possibly think of for your setting choice so i don't think that it is okay to just put a few words in there because that means that when you come to write your story you've got to work double as hard this is an opportunity for you to really have so much information in there that when you come to write your story You've got all of the information there. You're just taking it and putting it into sentences. This is really going to help you when you come to write your story um, so that you don't have to think of adjectives and verbs on the spot. So the more time you put into this plan, the better your story will be in the end as well. So um, that is your plan for today. So again, you're focusing on one, two and three. 
What you are going to think about though is where could your next setting be? So you've got some choices. You need to choose one of these settings to create your plan. You've got an ocean, a mountains, the desert, volcanoes or caves. And the reason we want you to choose one of these in particular is when we are back at school, you will be having a Descriptosaurus lesson where you choose lots of amazing adjectives and things to add further to your plan based around these. So please don't go off on a tangent and choose somewhere else. Choose one of these five um, and then you can create your plan from that. Okay, so your learning objective today is to plan an adventure story. So you're creating your plan to use when you write your story. So your task today is to complete the where, the W question and the setting description section on the plan for your setting. There is going to be a, um, a resource on the website where the, the setting that you choose, there will be a plan specifically for that with the picture in the middle for you. So as long as you fill in the where, W question and setting description, you're all good to go. And then we'll look at the others tomorrow. So please don't jump ahead. Okay, guys, good luck with that. Bye.